previously, we discussed uh, node voltage method, mesh current method. This is a third one, source transformation or conversion. Now, if we uh, uh, recall the feature of ideal source, uh, ideal volt voltage source should have zero output impedance or output uh, resistance. Ideal current source should have infinite output impedance. But a real voltage source or a current source has a certain output impedance. So a real source can be expressed either by a voltage source in series with a resistor or a current source in parallel with uh, the same resistor. Now we have a look at this, uh, those uh, diagrams first. Well, that is uh, a voltage source with uh, output impedance. If we consider this is uh, ideal voltage source, uh, together with uh, output impedance, this is uh, a real. That is a real. This is ideal. That is uh, a real. Okay. Uh, a current uh, source with uh, a resistor in parallel. Uh, if we consider this is a, a, a ideal current source, uh, actually for a current source, there will be output impedance here in parallel. Uh, do notice here is in parallel, that is in series. So uh, this is a ideal current source together with uh, this output impedance, this is, um, a real um, output impedance. In ideal case, this uh, R is infinite. That means uh, no, nothing here. That is ideal case. <coughs> okay. But the voltage uh, source in series with a resistor is more common. I mean, in most cases, we use uh, this model. Uh, any source can be expressed by either by voltage source or by current source. But in most cases, we consider is a voltage source. Uh, the next is um, voltage source can be can transformed into a current source or vice versa. Uh, that, that is uh, this what this uh, diagram means. Uh, if you have a, a voltage source like this, you can convert into a current source like this. Uh, if you have a current source, you can convert back to a voltage uh, source. Okay, let's uh, consider what is the relationship between those uh, those two. If we add um, uh, a load resistor here to a voltage source, we have this uh, structure. We add the same load resistor to a current source, it look like this. Right. Now let's uh, consider the relationship. Now with uh, a voltage source Vs, where uh, there would be a current go this way, that would be a current. And this uh, current we called AL because this current uh, go through this uh, load resistance, load resistor. So AL according to Ohm law equals Vs divided by R plus RL. Right. Okay. Uh, if we consider this side, now I consider this side, uh, you have uh, As, overall current is As. As go this way, you have As go that way. Now, what is the current here? This current, uh, we uh, in the past, we learned uh, current divider. This current will take part of this uh, current. So this is overall current, that is uh, IS. And here is IL. So IL take part of IS. This IL proportional to opposite resistance. If you remember when we discuss uh, current divider. So IS, you times R times this, 
divided by overall this r plus rl. Now we have uh, two equations there. Because this uh, current in either case is uh, go through this uh, load resistor. So this is the same thing. So L, 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 L is the same. So this part, that part actually is the same. You can equal well, that. We have this equation, this Vs divided by R plus RL equals Is, that is here, times R divided by R plus RL. So now here, this, this cancel each other. What we have is Vs equals Is times R. But if we write in different way, you know, Is, we keep Is here, equals Vs divided by, we move for R to this side, divided by R. It means the two types of source can be convert each other. I go back to here, it's, uh, this, this, the expression actually is the same. I look at this uh, relationship, this Vs equals R times Is, or Is equals Vs divided by R. <laughs> there is a very simple relationship to uh, convert to each other. Let's take uh, one example to um, uh, explain how can we make use of this uh, concept. Our task is to simplify multiple source circuit, a multiple source, we have two sources, one is the current, one is the voltage. Now, let's see how can we merge those two sources together? How can we merge those uh, resistors together so that we have a, a simple, a simple uh, source expression? Let's consider 25 volt, 5 volt, Five ohm first. We consider this part. If we consider this part, uh, this part from previous discussion, we can convert into a current source. So this is a voltage source. We can convert into a current source. Now when we try to convert to a current source, that expression is uh, like this. We have uh, a current. We have outputs. Uh, out output. Um, um, impedance. Uh, this is a five, that is a five O. Now what is the current here? The current from previous discussion, we know the current equals, this is a IS, this S is a equal VS divided by R. The VS is a 25 divided by five. So this is a five I. So simply by making use the concepts, yeah, between current source and voltage source, we can converge each other. So we, uh, we can convert this part to, to this. Now that is uh, uh, this part. You have uh, five ohm, five ohm. We keep a previous one that's uh, 20 ohm, three ohm there, 20 ohm, three ohm here. All right. Now we have uh, to this end, if you look from this end, you have two current uh, source. Uh, those two current sources we can add together. This is five, that is uh, three. So those two add together, you have this. That is uh, eight. Uh, those two in parallel is uh, five in parallel of uh, 20. Uh, we uh, learned this before. I can simply work out this is the five times 20 divided by five plus 20. So uh, that's equal 100 divided by 25 equals four. So if we merge those two together, I have a four here. Now, still a little bit more complicated than the ideal case. Uh, we can convert uh, those two. I can convert uh, those two. This is a current source into a voltage source. 
So we learned uh, this uh, before. If we convert, we can do what we can do. This is a voltage source. Here is output. And this output is a four ohm. Uh, four times uh, eight is uh, 30, 32 volt. 32 volt. So if I, I convert back to, uh, uh, to a voltage source, I have this. I have a 32 volt is here. I have a four ohm here, four ohm there. You add those two together, you have a eight, eight ohm. Now, this become a much simpler than original form. Uh, equally, we can convert this uh, voltage uh, source format into a current source. Uh, if we do that, we need to work out what is a current source, what is a, a current. We use this 32 divided by eight, that is a four arm. Uh, I move this, uh, this um, uh, resistor uh, parallel, that is uh, a current source. The following is uh, examples. This is uh, 21. The following is uh, example two. Uh, example two, example two, 26. Oh, it's uh, example two. We leave this for synchronized session. <laughs> 